Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Liberty Troll as he was just found guilty and he is now begging for money like a bum. Absolutely pathetic. So we'll take a look at that and then there's also an update on Karen Benson I want to show you guys. So without further ado, enjoy the video. So let's read what it says. Hello Liberty Trollers. First of all, right off the bat, he's admitting that he is trolling our liberties. It's like he's not even pretending to be an activist, a journalist. You are straight up a troll who is abusing our liberties. It says it in the name. Just like how I troll frauditors, you troll our liberties. I have a really hard time grasping why he thought this was a good name. But anyways, let's continue. He says, I have an update on my unlawful arrest from January of this year. I was found guilty of trespass last week for not leaving a public area. So I guess it was lawful since you were found guilty. This is obviously the wrong verdict. I will be appealing this conviction and I'm asking for financial support. An appellate attorney generally costs around $10,000. If you can assist me in paying an attorney, I would be outstandingly grateful. See my GoFundMe below. So as you guys see here, it says support the fight for our constitutional rights. And even though he was begging for 10,000 bucks on the other link over here, he's begging for 30,000 bucks. So there's a huge discrepancy. I don't know why someone would give a dollar to someone that admittedly says he is trolling our liberties. But then again, there are people who are lobotomized, apparently. Now, let's take a look at the description. Fellow patriots, you're here because you desire to see our constipational rights exercised shamelessly. You know the risk I take filming in public buildings and spaces in a time where many are ignorant of our rights. We the sheeple will not let the tyrants tread on us. Corruption will be exposed as I respectfully conduct First Amendment fraud in the United States. Footage is used for transparency and accountability purposes to educate the public. All proceeds will help fund any travel and equipment expenses related to Liberty Troll, where I participate in constipationally protected activity. It will also be used in the event I incur any legal expenses for unlawful arrest and violation of my rights. It is important to keep our government in check and to educate the masses in this country to keep our rights strong and we the sheeple united. Only in court will we bring change. This is where I will certainly need your money. So I do have a little bit of history with Zachary Cooker over here, Liberty Troll. He did a couple dirty copyright strikes on my channel. I beat them as usual. And then he emailed me asking me to make videos on him again. I don't know what the hell is wrong with this guy. This is what he said. Hey, Josh, anything I do is my own decision and my copyright strike wasn't inconsistent with YouTube's terms of service. I did want to say that you don't have to worry about me filing any more copyright strikes against your channel. That is the purpose of my response. I think you are a likable entertainer on YouTube, although you jump to the wrong conclusions, hoping that eventually you'll come around to see First Amendment fraud as a means to exercise our rights for the purpose of keeping them alive and active today. No fallen human being can have the purest of intentions, but keep in mind that freedom is messy. As for myself, I try to be as peaceful and as respectful as I can. Blah, blah, blah. Continue criticizing when necessary. Use more of your own content. And auditors don't disagree with everything you put out. Be blessed, Zach Liberty Troll. So I asked him, well, in that case, I have a proposition. Why don't you come on my panel for a friendly open debate? Rogue Nation has done it. I, we can debate ideas and challenge each other's point of views. Let me know if you're interested and crickets. He never responded back because obviously he doesn't want to get absolutely demolished in a debate. So you see, I think this guy was up to no good and he was trying to bait me into making more videos about him and then he could do more copyright strikes and attempt to take down my channel because just after sending this email, maybe about a week later, he started sending waves of dirty copyright strikes against Dr. Dave, the beer professor, exposure of frauditor. So he took down multiple of his videos 
And I believe since then they have been reinstated as usual. So that was his trick. He wanted to trick me into making a bunch of videos on him so he could temporarily shut down my channel. But I didn't fall for it. And if I do make videos on him, they'll be heavily processed and protected in a way that I cannot get copyright strikes, just how I do it with DMA. Now, another thing I wanted to tell you about before we move on to the next topic, I don't know what his sentence is yet. If you guys know, let me know in the comment section or send it to me by email. I just saw the community post and wanted to let you guys know right away. If I find out what the sentence is, I will let you know in a pinned comment or I will make a community post about it. So let's move on to the next topic, which is Karen Benson. I told you guys that the case with the library was dropped. And that's because the security guard was kind enough to refuse to press charges even after the process has started. He probably told himself, you know what, I'll give her a break. Hopefully she'll learn from this and she'll become a better person. But that is not what happened. She decided to re-upload the video where she victimized this guy so she could rub it in his face. So we'll take a look at the video again and we can clearly see here that this was pure harassment. I understand that maybe he didn't want to be part of the legal process or maybe he had a change of heart and wanted to cut her a break. But that's the thing with Regan Benson. She's such a vile scumbag. If you give her half an inch, she will take two miles. You cannot cut her any slack whatsoever. Anyways, let's take a look at the video and please tell me in the comment section how this is not harassment. Next time I cannot let you use the restroom without signing your name. So you just sit it down right there. Guess what? what? I will use the bathroom. Well, regardless. I'm sorry, but I won't let. Well, I, that's not going to fly. You, it's not on me. It's oh the yes, policy. it is on you because you've been told not to deny bathroom use based on signing a piece of paper. So who's in charge? <laughs> Go talk. You can talk to no. people. No. Who's in charge? Who's your boss? Uh, man, go talk to them. Who's them? The library people. The library people? Please do not do that with me. Go talk to them. I'm not. I'm not. Guess that, what? I'm not the more drama, you tell me not, not to do it, field. the more I'm gonna do it. Do you? you are working in a public building. Hey, this is a public bathroom. I don't listen. This no, is my job. No, you listen. This is not. This is my job. It is not your job to tell me that I can't I use the bathroom. I don't care that you I have a problem. I don't care that you have a problem. Don't speak with them. Please leave me alone. Why don't you go home? Ma'am, you got to go. No, I don't have yes, to go. Do. Oh, no, I don't. Um, Can I get some help in the lab? So it was at this point that she decided that was going to be her target. She sees that he's nervous. He doesn't want to be confronted. He doesn't want to be recorded. So she tells herself, you know what? This is the guy I'm going to victimize today. And then she's going to follow him around and his coworkers are just going to drop the ball over and over and over. It took a real investigation for her to get arrested. And even then, after all that, this guy was kind enough to drop the case. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do, you're causing problems. No. Yeah. What's the definition of problem? <sighs> you, got a, you got a law citation for that? Yes, I need some uh, help in the library. You Yes, can you come help me in the library? Okay. Okay. You want to step outside? Here? No, I'm good Don't you here. You want to stay in here? I might. I'll just call the police. Go ahead. She, she I encourage you to call the police. What's going on today? Well, he wants to call the police on me, so let's call him. You, you. She took the library key, and I told her to sign the paper. She said she don't have to. So oh, I that's not our rules, that's the library. Right. Place. That's what I told her. It don't even have nothing to do with me. Tell him you, the rest. You, you're talking Tell to him the, the wrong rest. person. Tell him the rest. 
Then you told him I couldn't use the bathroom if I did that again. Yes, because that's the policy, man. No, it's and you not. have to you're gonna have to leave. No, I'm not leaving. Hey babe, this lady won't leave and she's hey, causing how's it going? Leave it with me. Okay. Show sure, please. Okay. Can I help? Well, it seems as though we have another problem with your security staff telling people they can't use the bathroom if they don't sign in. Well, I went ahead and used the bathroom, and I returned the key, and I returned the key, and then he proceeded to tell me that he won't be allowing that next time unless I sign my name. And yes, it's all on video. And then he told me to leave, and then he told me he was calling the police on me. I think I'm there's like, been a bit of misunderstanding uh, here. I can help you out. Look, I'm gonna leave because this ain't. I'm not. I don't do this drama with that right there. Well, quit. Go home. No, I'm going upstairs. You have a good one. Yeah, you too. Mm. Oh, I will. Mm. I'll see you in a minute. I guess she's here. You be home. Actually, why don't you take a break? Huh? Okay. Thank you. Got it. Yep, yep. Cool. Appreciate you, Alex. Spirit, bless your soul. <laughs> Seriously. Bless your soul. Why are you messing with me? Hey, Dave. Please help me. But she like... <laughs> You can clearly see that she is following him in public with the intent to cause alarm or to annoy. And that is the definition of harassment. They had her. They had her dead to rights. All they had to do is prosecute her. All the evidence was on her channel. She posted it. He asked her several times to leave him alone, and she just wouldn't stop following and harassing him. I find it really sad that this case got dropped, and she should consider herself lucky, but she has no soul. She literally has no soul because she is still harassing this man by reposting this video. I think this is a very good example of when you have a frauditor in your bullseye, you have them, do not let go. They need to learn their lesson and it's not by giving them an olive branch and being nice to them and dropping the case. That's not how they're going to learn it. They will learn their lesson once they spend a lot of time in jail. And that's what Karen Benson desperately needs. You're a public employee in a public building. You, ain't got nothing, you don't have nothing better else to do. Your life is boring. You have to mess with one person who's not doing nothing to you. Seriously. You're going to take a shit? Is that what you said? No, I said I'm not going to fall for your shit. Because you are harassing me. And I will call the police on you if you keep harassing me. Go ahead, call them. I really don't want to do that because I don't like drama. That's what call I'm getting them. antsy right now because you cause them. Then you can't do your job. I suggest you clock out and go home. Why don't you tell him why I'm filming you? Because you took the bathroom key and you didn't sign your name and you broke the policy. And he threatened to call the cops on you. Yeah, because you keep following me, of course. I'm going to do that. But she didn't have to sign And Dave already told him to go take a break. Just try to just. Okay. Look, look. 
All I'm saying is this right here. If she keeps doing this, I'm happy to eventually call the police and she keeps following. Call she's him. gonna do this for the rest of the day. Please call him. Yeah, but that's not gonna do good. But this kid doesn't do good. She can call well, him. Well, at least she doesn't leave me alone. Should've she I sure is. <laughs> sure picked the wrong day to do this. You know something? I am so sorry. I apologize to you. You are so right. You are. You, you're right. I apologize. I'm sorry. You like me? You like, you like me, don't you? No, I don't think she likes him. She doesn't have any space in her heart to like anything or anyone besides herself. She loves the attention she's getting on YouTube, but that's about it. That woman is so vile and evil. She does this to everybody. Cops, homeless people, security guard, secretaries, librarians. It doesn't matter who you are, she will victimize you. Anyways, now she has another charge of disrupting the public meeting because she keeps becoming worse and worse, completely out of control. I mean, someone needs to put a stop to this. Unfortunately, it looks like this guy possibly had the option to do that, and it just didn't go that way. That's what it is. <laughs> you got a crush on me? I'm handsome to you? Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to lose my cool. I'm not going to get mad at you. I'm not going to do nothing to you because I don't react like that. I stay full and control of myself. And if I have to call the police because you keep doing this, I will regardless of what anybody say. Just to, just, just to give us space because I don't I like drama. You. Call the police. And I don't because mm. the thing is, it's just why? Because you, you are, and you are a grown woman. You fully control of yourself. You're doing this on purpose. I don't want to do this because you want to do this shit. This you want to do this. Like I'm not gonna react to this shit. I just don't feel like it. I just don't. Seriously. Just, I'm just gonna take it as you like me and just say, hey, you obviously you do. You keep looking at me. <laughs> you know, it's funny because you remind me of, of when I was like 17, 18 years old. This woman about your age, she liked me. And she damn near wanted to rape me. She was all up on me. Seemed like that's what you over here pushing up on me like this for. You want to keep keep a video like you want to look at it, look at it later. I don't know. I don't know what you like, but I'm happily married. Sorry. Right. I think she likes me, man. I just told her I'm happily married. Right. You have a good one. 
All right, well, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. On one hand, we have good news with Liberty Troll being found guilty. And on the other hand, it's unfortunate that she got away with that crime. And she's so proud of it that she is re-uploading that crime to YouTube. Unreal. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget, tomorrow is DMA's going to prison party. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Eastern. I've been working on a lot of fun surprises for you guys. It's going to be a blast. I'm going to be drinking cognac with the wife. It's going to be so much fun. Make sure to be there tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys on the next one.